Hello and welcome back to the Master Civil Engineering. In this video, we will learn about the two pack test of dumpy level and how this test is used to determine the correct elevation of stations on the surface of Earth. The question is shown and it states that two pegs A and B are driven in the ground at a distance of about 120 meter. A dumpy level is set up at a station Q exactly midway between pegs A and B. The staff reading on peg A and B were found to be 3.51 meter and 3.149 meter. The instrument was then moved and set up at a point P beyond peg A in line BA produced at a distance of 20 meter from A. The staff readings on pegs A and B were 1.763 meter and 0.847 meter respectively. What is the true difference in elevation between the two points? With the level in the same position at P, what rod readings on B should the line of sight is adjusted? Check these readings against the true difference in elevation previously determined. First, what is the two-peg test of dumpy level? So a two-peg test checks whether your dumpy level is capable of showing a true horizontal reading. This is vital to ensure your measurements are accurate and reliable. If the two-peg test is showing an unacceptable error, then you must withdraw the equipment and get it serviced by an appropriate company. Now coming back to the solution. When the level is at midway between the two stations A and B, staff reading on A is 3.513 meter and staff reading on B is 3.149 meter. Since the level is exactly midway between the two stations, so it will be the true difference of level, which is equal to 3.513 minus 3.149, which is equal to 0 0.364 meter. Now, when the level is at 20 meter from station A, staff reading on A is 1.763 meter, and staff reading on B is 0 0.847 meter. So the apparent difference of level is 1.763 minus 0 0.847 which is equal to 0 0.916 meter. Since the two differences are not equal, it means the line of collimation is not horizontal. So we will subtract the true rise. We can see the point A is at higher level than point B. So the elevation is rising from point A to point B and the true rise is given equal to the difference between the level readings when the instrument station is exactly at midway between the two stations A and B. So true rise will be equal to 0 0.364 meter. So subtract true rise corresponding reading at B at the same level as that at A is 1.763 minus 0 0.364 which is equal to 1.399 meter. But the observed reading at B is equal to 0 0.847 meter. Since the observed reading that is 0 0.847 is less than the corresponding reading that is 1.399, it means the line of collimation is inclined downwards. So the collimation error in 120 meter is 0 0.847 minus 1.399 which is equal to minus 0 0.552 meter. Collimation error in 20 meter is equal to given by the proportional triangle so you can say it 0 point minus 0 0.552 into 20 divided by 120 which is equal to minus 0 0.092 meter. So the correction at A will be plus 0 0.092 meter. So the correct reading at A is simply observed reading plus correction which is equal to 1.763 plus 0 0.092 which is equal to 1.855 meter. The collimation error at P in a distance of 140 meter is again given by proportion that is minus 0 0.552 into 140 divided by 120 which is equal to minus 0 0.644 meter. So the correction at B will be plus 0 0.644 meter. So the correct reading at B is simply observed reading plus the correction which is equal to 0 
847 plus 0.644 which is equal to 1.491 meter so the rod reading at B at which the line of sight is adjusted is equal to 1.491 meter and you can check the difference between the two levels that is difference between A and B is simply 1.855 minus 1.491 which is equal to 0 0.364 meter which is the same as that when the level was exactly midway between the two stations so this is how we calculate the correct elevation of stations using the two peg test method i hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you find this video helpful please give it a thumbs up and share this video with your friends thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video